Isaac, and a lot of people call me Ike Cohen. My rank was SK2SS, so I went to the bang, and then uh, on the bang, I requalified, and I, I, one day we had a party, a ship's uh, subs party, whatever. We, we call ourselves boats. We don't call ships. And um, <laughs> we went to the party. I'm drinking already, like now. A uh, guy from the band, the Clamagor that knew me came down, and uh, he remembered that I didn't drink my dolphins. I don't know if you ever heard about that. Some of the things that happen when you're in when you're in a, on subs, especially on diesel boats, when you qualify, you're supposed to drink your dolphins. Now let me explain what that means. This is really special because once you qualify, that's a lot of work, and you really earn those dolphins that you've seen all the time, right? Um, so to celebrate. Uh, what they do is they take a glass. <laughs> For me, I, I was lucky because it was only 16 ounces and I was already drinking, but that was my worst part. They take that and they take a shot of, well, they just take bottles, they just pour everything in. Drop the dolphins into, into the glass, all in the bottom, and then you gotta stand there and drink it to the end and catch the dolphins in your mouth. Well, I did it because he remembered. I said, damn. I knew I wasn't going to make out too well. But when it was over, I did that. I remember that part. And after that, I don't remember anything for two days. I was that sick. Thrown up. I was, I was in my in the barracks like, <clears throat> anyway. That, that, nobody said anything about drinking the dolphins? Wow, I can't remember that. That's a tradition that's been going on. Although I don't know if they do it anymore, but they did with the diesel boats. So when you think about the diesel boats, they're a tradition that are gone. And that's why I thought this was so special because our group is one of the few that you say that uh, you know you haven't done yet. So there's a ton of them out there, but this is special. We had showers. We never used them. We had toilets. We had to use them. <laughs> um, we had uh, very, very close quarters, as you found out, right? Uh, if you went across the river to the battleship New Jersey, we had this much room, they have this much room, so there's a big difference. At that point in my life, I could fit in there, now I wouldn't. So, <laughs> if you think about what that's like, well, people say they're claustrophobic, they couldn't do it, but I don't, to me, that wasn't a big deal. But it was tight, no big deal. Uh, okay, now, the air conditioning worked most of the time, and that was great, and it helped to keep the clinics clear. Um, but every time we got into port, we would all smell like diesel oil. We all did, and there wasn't much we could do. And I suppose these other guys probably said the same thing, but we didn't take showers. We just used right guard and stick it on our arms, and that's it, we're out of there. And then we got drunk, came back and did it over again. Um, but it was, it was a certain smell, like I remember today, I smelled, it wasn't a diesel like because you won't smell it in a boat like it's been sitting around like that, because you have to be out to sea, you gotta use the engines, and they don't use the engines, so you're not gonna smell that stuff. But smelling like a diesel oil is pretty interesting. You know? I don't think the women particularly cared for it, but it was the way it was. Um, uh, tight quarters. When we, when we were transitioning from diesel boats to nukes, and that was the earth when I was in, that was huge. That's why I got bounced around a lot, so much. So when we were doing that, um, we had to stand what they call, we had to stand port and starboard watches in either eight hours, four hours, or 12 hours. But at the end, it was 12 hours. So you 12 hours on, 12 hours off. And that was crazy because we, they, they could not afford to keep us going because they were transitioning out. So we, we had a, no, no, that was, that was tough, but it was okay. We all got used to it. When we got to port, we all felt better, you know, drinking, whatever, so anyway. Um, uh, yeah, diesel oil always stuck out in my mind. But you know what was stuck out more to me is I was getting seasick. Uh, because I know what it was like to be seasick and be seasick a lot. That was rough. That was rough. It's like you don't have, um, you heard, ever hear of dry heaves? Okay. Dry heaves are, um, you can't, you can't spit out anymore. You can't vomit anymore. And it's like, uh, oh man, you know, that's it. And it's like so horrible.